for all passengers has been developed and is being implemented. And an isolation facility is being provided at the Philip Goldson International Airport for further screening for passengers who may be considered at some risk due to the surveillance forms. The uh, Ministry of Health, as you know, I think, has provided a hotline. Um, the hotline is 629-5604, and we are working with BTL to provide a toll-free number as soon as possible to assist in this capacity. We have developed a rapid response team to follow up on cases, and we have received permission already to hire another 10 public health inspectors to strengthen our response at the borders and points of entry. We have prepared a team for contact tracing, uh, and they will be able immediately to be dispersed around the country to contact anybody who shows up on the surveillance issues. We are providing further treatment in infection, uh, further advice and information on treatment and infection control. Our own guidelines are being constantly reviewed. We have identified sites where isolation may be used if possible. We have our own healthcare team here, again Dr. Figueroa, Dr. Manzanero, uh, to be able to answer any questions that you have. The personal protection equipment kits that we have um, are those that were purchased for H1N1. They can be used in this instance, but they are not ideal. The ideal personal protective equipment uh, that is recommended by the World Health Organization is not available in the very short term, and so we have procured or sent in the procurement request for those kits, but uh, Dr. DeCosio will probably be able to tell you how long that procurement time will be. But in the meantime, we will make sure that our people have all the uh, protective equipment that is 